The prime time knows no boundaries. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Leader Class Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, we have some nice assemblage going on in the background there. His name is Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. I'm not going to try to read all that. Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Transformers on this side of the box. As always, that very, very lovely artwork. On the other side of the box, we have some more lovely artwork here of Prime himself doing some pew pewing and some bang banging. He is a leader, classic, class leader, class leader. Up top, Autobot symbol, work for Cybertron. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other thing, stuff, stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along here we have galaxy upgrade optimus prime aka cybertron optimus prime aka galaxy force optimus prime whatever you want to call him but here he is in his vehicle mode he's a red and blue truck are you shocked i know i am but looks pretty cool let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details you got that nice transparent blue plastic there for the windshields and the windows, also for the front headlights, you get some yellow there, some nice silver right up front. You get some nice details up front as well. All the rims are painted in silver. You get some silver here. Uh, the big cannons up top are all painted up in silver with lots of nice detailing. Looks quite, quite good. He does kind of have visible head syndrome. That's that's the head right there. Um, that's also nice detailing going down the sides. You get some more silver back here. Some more silver on the rims. More silver on the back. But all around looks pretty cool. There's the top. There's the bottom. He rolls. As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the... Voyager class, Optimus Prime. Here he is with leader class, Magnus. So you can see just how much has been remolded between the two toys. And yeah, a lot of remolding going on here. A lot of remolding. They do share parts, but there's still a lot, a lot of differences here. And they both look quite good, as far as I'm concerned anyway. And here he is with my original Cybertron Optimus Prime, with his floppy guns, he's just all kinds of loose, but there you go. You can see those two side by side, and there you go. So now, let's talk about accessories. Uh, one accessory that is already uh, attached here is this extra gun, which you can give to him in robot mode. And just pegs right there for storage. You can leave the handle up or leave it down. The instructions tell you to uh, plug it in with the handle down which you can do, but then it kind of leaves up at an angle, so if you want everything just kind of sit flush, you know, you can just rotate it like that. Totally up to you, as always, your toy. Display it however you wish. And you also get these two guns, and they are the exact same guns that came with uh, that came with Magnus. As you can see, the only difference is they just didn't paint the, uh, the barrel silver. But the exact same guns. And as far as the instructions go, you can take them and plug them into those ports right there on the sides. You have a couple places you can plug them into. You can plug them in right there. You can plug them in there. You can plug them in back here. So, as always, your toy. Do what you want with it. But per the instructions, you plug them in right there. So, there you go. And as far as the uh, effects parts go, you know, you can plug them into any of the guns. You can plug them in there. I always use this one because this one's my favorite. But you can plug this even a port right up front there. You can plug that up there, you know, have that going on. Hey, as always, do what you want. Your toy, do what you want. But that is basically it for the truck mode. Not really much more to talk about. You know, these little cannons here can move up, 
they can move down, they can also rotate outward like so. so they can, you know, you can protect this back. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do them. But yeah, that is basically it for the truck mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> so let us remove these guns and put them off to the side. And we shall begin. So first thing we need to do is attach, detach all of this back here. So you're going to start off by detaching the wings. They just clip into the sides here. Like so, undo that side, and undo this side right here. Then you want to undo this section here, so you just clipped into the back, so just kind of pull that out. And all of this should just slide right off. And there you go. So we'll just put all this off to the side for now. And now we will focus on what's left here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just untap the legs, just bring them out a little bit, bring them down. You want to bring them out because there's a little tab that goes into the side of the, uh, the thigh there. So bring it up, bring it down, and you just flip out the heels. And then we come up here and we just bring the arms out, bring the arms out, raise up a little bit more. And then we're just going to rotate the body here, 180. You want to take this whole backpack section here and adjust, slide it up until that clicks into place. And then just slide all this back until that snaps in right there. And now we just open up the chest. Open, open. Come on. Open. There we go. Open up the chest. Flip out the head, close that back up, and then we just tab the shoulder sections into the body, straighten out his hands so everything is oriented properly. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done for now anyway. And there you have the little prime in his robot mode. And he looks okay, you know, he's kind of on the uh, kind of on the chunky side there, like he needs to cut back on the pizza bagels, but you know, it's not too bad for what it is. <laughs> but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the head sculpt. You can see it's a nice, primey head sculpt. Eyes done in yellow, got silver on the forehead, silver for the mouth plate there. And everything we've already seen here, you get that yellow on the waist section. Get a bit of that battle damage paint work throughout. Going on the legs, get some silver there on the knees. And moving up the back. He just has this kind of weird backpack going on there. But yeah, um, articulation wise, uh, his head is on a ball joint. So you can do some wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can rotate, arms can rotate. Can move in and out. You got bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You have wrist rotation, waist rotation, legs. You can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. Can't really do anything except tilt. And if you want, you can give him the Two uh, black guns here. I'm gonna arm him up if you wish. Very snug. There you go. So we can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Or if you want, the instructions show you, uh, show him with them plugged into his forearms, which hey, is a thing you can do. If you want to do it, hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? You can also store the guns on his back here, these side ports. You can have them back there for storage. Again, all things you can do if you want to do it. You can also give him this silver gun from the trailer. You can hold that as well. So you got some silver, pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. As always, things you can do if you want to do it. It's your toy, display it however you wish. And for comparison, here he is with the Voyager Prime. 
Here he is with Magnus's Albino Prime. So again, you can see what they have remolded on this figure. And here he is with the unarmored Cybertron Prime. So you can see how that works out. So now let's get down to all the combinations of the combinings here. So let's just remove the guns. Remove the guns and remove the guns. So there is some prep work we have to do here for Prime himself. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come back here and you want to remove these little side sections. Because we're going to need these. Let's remove these. Put these off to the side. What parts for... Shh. And we're going to untab his shoulders so we can open up the chest, flip his head in, and close that back up. You want to just kind of slide this forward a bit so you can take this and bring this down, like so. And then we can just clip that back into place, clip the shoulders back into place, and we want to flip in his heels, and we want to take the crotch, bring it down, rotate it, Bring it back up to give him his super crotch. And there we go. So Prime is all ready to go. And now we bring in the trailer and we will get to work on this. So what we're going to do here is just kind of get all this situated here. You want to take this section here and untab it. It does clip in quite securely, so just kind of pull that out on your end. There we go. I know that should pop off. These sections here just clip in right there as well. So we separate these two pieces. And here we have the leg portions. We just split this. And we come in here and we pull out these little sections here. These are going to be his new shoulders. So he does have faux shoulders going on. And then we come down here and we flip out his heels. He does have enough heel to hold him up, but... They give you some extra heel, which I appreciate. Just makes them a bit more stable. So you flip out those heels, and voila. So we got that, we got that, we got these. And now we have all of this to work with here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to unclip this section here, clips in right up here. So just pull this down and unclip it. It's kind of snug. Come on, come on, it's very snug. There we go. Let's bring that around like so. And you want to take these bits here and just kind of bring them down, get them out of the way. Just turn this around. And this is going to come down, and this section is going to come up. Now that's just going to just sit in there via friction. And we can just bring these two pieces down, like so. You just kind of bring the wings back. We can take the cannons here, just bring them back and up, like so, for now. And we'll just take this gun plug it back in here for now. Now you take this section here, bring that up, flip that out, and rotate the head around. And we are ready to go. So now we'll bring Prime back in, take the legs, they just slide over, slide over. Now you guys new super legs. We take these sections here, this section flips out, and these will tab and peg onto his forearms. Just plug that in there, flip that out, and plug that in. Now he has super forearms. Now we come up to the shoulders, and these will just peg over the smokestacks. Just slide those down, peg them in, slide that over. And bring that in. And now he's got super shoulders. And now we bring in the backpack. That'll just clip in right back here. Bring this down. And you got little tabs that will go into his chest right in there. Get everything situated here with his legs. And there you go. There you have. The full-on Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime in its robots mode. And it does look quite good in my opinion. I think it's a nice, uh, a nice update to the character. I could work with this.
I can work with this. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Well, let's get in closer so we can take a look at that super head sculpt. Let's see. Nice yellow for the eyes, yellow on the head crest, yellow there on the sides. Silver. Right there. Pretty good looking head sculpt. Get some silver here on the chest. A little bit of that battle damage paint going around. Some more of that transparent blue. You got the big old wings. You got the faux wheels here that are painted in black with silver rims. But, yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, in my opinion. Got the big old heels. <laughs> the backpack going on with the big old guns. Look at all those guns. But, yeah. Oh, no. Not too bad. Now, articulation wise, the head. Is on a ball joint, so you got your wiggly waggly. You can look up a pretty good bit. You can throw a squirrel, kind of do that. Look down a little bit, can rotate a full 360. All uh, the arms can still rotate. Of course, the wings are kind of in the way now, but they can still rotate. They can still move in and out. Still got your bicep, still got your elbow, still got your wrist, still got your waist, still got legs that go forward and back. Only this far now, outward you can still do the full splits. Still got your thigh rotation. Still got slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and the feet have the ankle tiltage. And again, if you want, you can give him the uh, the black guns here, plug them into his hands, you can plug them into his forearms, right there, if you want that going on. He's actually packed with them, uh, plugged into the wings. I forget how they did it, oh, like this. You have them plugged in on either side, like that. That's how he actually comes packed with them back there. So, you know, that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Or you can just have them stored on the legs. The hips on mine are a little bit loose. The, the outward movement on mine is a little bit loose, so he kind of wants to do the splits on me. But anyway, you can just plug them into the sides of the legs, which is probably where I will leave them. But again, you always do what you want with it. So you got that going on. And of course, you can give him the little silver gun if you want. But the cool thing is, we can bend his arms here and we can take the big old cannons and just swing them around. And the handle is actually on a slider there, so it'll move to accommodate the position of the arms there. You can just take these and just peg them into his hands like so. Just swing that around. And peg that into his hand. Oops, don't have things lined up. Hey, there we go. Work with me, man. Work with me. And there you go. And of course, the wings are on a hinge there. You can angle those however you want. You can have that going on, which I think is really cool. Give him his big old cannons. And I like that. I like that very much. And again, you know, the effects parts. You can plug them into the cannons, plug them onto his shoulders. I'm getting shot, Arr, I'm getting shot, or do you know, do whatever. I think they, they do plug on to these as well. Yeah, that's a that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. <laughs> they plug into the bottoms of his feet, you know, so you can give him the rocket feet. Totally up to you. There's definitely fun to be had, but there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Voyager Prime. You can see how that works out. Here he is with the original Cybertron Prime. <laughs> Mine, is, <laughs> Mine is very floppy. It's very, it's very floppy. There he is with the original <laughs> Cybertron Prime. Just so you can see how they look side by side. And here he is with Leader Magnus. Just so you can see, again, just how much they remolded between the two figures. And again, they do share parts, but as you can see, there is a lot that is different between the two figures. So, there you go. So, there you have Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. Um, yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion. I do quite dig him. The only issue I have with my copy anyway is that the, uh, the outward movement on the hips is a little bit loose. That could just be my copy, but hey, just something to note. But yeah, overall, for being a remold, an extensive remold of uh, Ultra Magnus, it's it's really well done, and I think they did a really good job on it. He look he looks he looks quite good.
Cool figure, fun toy. I am quite pleased with him, so there you go. Now this latest wave of Siege has been popping up at Walmart, so you can check your local Walmart to see if they have these in stock. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege Leader Class Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Hey there, Prime. Whoa, hey, what, what? Where you aim that thing? What, what are you doing, Prime? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm doing what I always do. I get an upgrade for more pizza bagel eating butt flinging power. What about you? Why don't you ever get an upgrade? Well, uh, I, I, I got this scratch buffed out of my fender the other day. Does, does, does that count? Sure. Amateurs. I work with amateurs. Well, I'm sorry we can't all be as special as you. Hey, Sideswipe. Oh, hey, Prime.